Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we got a situation <clears throat> right now. The chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, Mar uh, Marine General Joseph Dunford, has arrived in South Korea. He is meeting with President Moon of the South Korean uh, government to discuss the ever-increasing tension that's growing there on the Korean Peninsula between North Korea and South Korea, actually between North Korea and the world. The uh, leaked information that North Korea now has the capability of putting small miniature nukes inside the warheads of intercontinental ballistic missiles, and the fact that those missiles can, without a doubt, reach the U.S. mainland. Uh, has now put everybody on edge. And the fact that Kim Jong-un has pointed four of his missiles directly at Guam. They're on the launch pad, pointed toward Guam. Now he says he wouldn't hit Guam, that he would shoot the missiles off simultaneously, that he's going to do it in mid-August and drop them just 20 kilometers in the front door of Guam. And the 162,000 U.S. citizens and two uh, military bases, an Air Force base and a naval base that we have on that island, are now in the crosshairs of this insane madman, this loose cannon, the little dictator, Kim Jong-un, who wants to go Kim Jong-boom. Um... Now, South Korea is nervous because Kim Jong-un does have hundreds, and I mean hundreds, if not thousands, and some reports are as much as 5,000 smaller artillery rockets that he could fire across the border into South Korea, and South Korea cannot shoot those down, cannot knock those down. Okay, it's just too short ranged and it would wreck a lot of havoc. It would cause a lot of casualties and uh, it would be an absolute disaster. And so South Korea is like, you got to understand, South Korea does not, I repeat, they do not want the United States to launch a preempt, preemptive strike on North Korea and cripple North Korea's military installations, especially its nuclear facilities. I mean, we could. We could go in there and we could destroy his nuclear, all of his nuclear facilities. We could destroy his military bases. We could destroy his entire Air Force and his entire Navy. Sink every sub he has. We can do this. But he will get a lot of rockets, a lot of uh, short range, and a lot of artillery. He will get it off into South Korea, even in that process. And we can't, that's what everybody's worried about. But what do you do? How long does Trump set and wait? How long does the world hold its breath? This is a very serious situation this morning. I'm asking you all to pray um, because we have 28,000 men and women in uniform in South Korea right now standing on the front line of freedom. It's a dangerous time. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy as I drive through the peaceful cornfields of Indiana, reflecting on the crisis of the world. We're in the last days, the coming apocalypse. Do not miss tonight's Sunday Night Live broadcast. I'll be in my studios in West Lafayette, Indiana, at the Salvation Station. We'll cover all the current world events. Also, today's Sunday morning worship service will be live at my website at publiclyprophecy.com. Just click on the church channel link when you get there and watch it live. It'll be awesome. Are you serious?